welcome back. A couple of the movers and shakers in 1999 will be Mark Scaife and Neil Crompton, who join us right now. <laughs> welcome to the show, <laughs> oh, It's going to be one of those years, isn't it? The, uh, the slanging started at a corporate day for Channel 10 about a month ago, but it was good-natured then. Has it, it worsened since? Absolutely. <laughs> Any time spent around here's a drama, so that's it. <laughs> Neil, seriously, uh, seriously, folks, um, you must be pleased that the atmosphere has it changed in the Seaton Garage with the introduction, of course, as Ford as an owner? Um, great amount of anticipation, Bill. It's a terrific thing to have Ford involved officially now, as everybody knows, they're back. And uh, um, it hasn't changed things dramatically in the last, whatever it's been, eight or ten weeks or thereabouts, because it does take time to fundamentally change the way in which a race team operates. But all the ingredients are there, we've got the right backing and we've got a great long-term plan, so we're all looking forward to it. Well, this bloke next to you has had a pretty good start of the season. How do you assess the, uh, the AGP results? Excuse me. I thought they were horrendous myself. <laughs> Fair enough. And I don't, I don't think the Australian motor racing public cared less, but... Uh, oh, sorry, Scaife, I didn't realise you were sitting there. No, these guys are doing a benchmark job at the moment. There's absolutely no question that uh, Mark and Craig and the whole team down there are doing a good job. They have been doing for a long time and they get it more right more often if I can put it that way. So the challenge is there for us and for our competitors as well to do a better job and that's what we have to do. We just got to focus on looking after our own lot in life and and uh, take up the challenge, as it were. That's the first rap he's ever given me, Bill. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. What's going on? Got a bottle. That's going on. that cash under here. <laughs> Scapey, I have to ask you, team driving, of course, in Formula One was, for some reason, a huge issue when we all thought it was kind of dead and buried towards the end of last season. Now, with, with relevance to V8 supercars, you shared the honours with Lounsey. Just where does the rivalry stop and start there? I mean, what, you know, where, where, are, you, where are you going to start team driving in, in 1999? Well, I mean, really, in the end, Bill, we're out there to do the best for the team. And, uh, you know, we certainly want to win the races, either of us, and there's a lot of competition between Craig and I, there's no doubt about it. But uh, uh, in essence, we race hard. If we run into each other, it's silly. Um, and throughout the year, obviously, one of us will have some luck, and on other days, whoever wins on those particular days, the luck goes with you a bit. Mm -hmm. So we'll just sort it out as the year goes on, and hopefully uh, there won't be too much lunacy. Well, Holden Racing Team boss uh, John Crennan had some fairly disparaging remarks to make about Ford's new challenge this year. Neil, did you take that personally or do you think it's just uh, stirring the pot from John's point of view? No, I didn't take it personally. There's people out there saying much worse things than that <laughs> <You're> not, <laughs> all over Australia. Including, time. including me, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most of it starts here. Um, but no, not at all. I think there has to be a degree of edge between the two camps. Certainly that's the way I remember it when I was a young bloke. And, uh, was which was a long ago? time ago. Um, but uh, no, I, you know, the bottom line is if Glenn Seaton was saying that about me, I'd be more concerned. But uh, I've just got to go out there and do my job, concentrate on doing what I'm doing and uh, let my employer make his own judgment. Was it tongue-in-cheek, Scaifey? You should have the inside running on that one because it's drawn a lot of comment in motorsport magazines. There have been a lot of letters in the pages. Look, to be honest, I think John was actually misquoted a bit. Mm -hmm. to be frank, but at the same time, there's a bit of gamesmanship there. I'm sure that in professional sport of any description, there's a bit of that on, and if you can't cop a bit of that, then you're probably in the wrong game, so I'm glad that uh, he took it properly. <laughs> it seems clear to me, though, whatever you know, the motivations were, uh, the result has been good in, in the sense that it stirred up the emotion of the whole Ford Holden thing again, and do you put that down to the fact that Ford is now back in business again? Yeah, I think so. I think there's now an official rivalry. It's always been there, but now it's very much banner versus banner. Mm. And I've got to tell you, Billy, I'm actually quite surprised. I mean, even in the last couple of months since I've been involved now with this team, I'm a little bit shocked myself as to what a big thing that it really is. And I think, you know, Mark and I were talking before, that's reflected everywhere in our series mm. at the moment. Yeah. I know it's going to come across in terms of the television coverage, certainly coming across in terms of crowds. I mean, at the Eastern Creek Test Day a couple of weeks ago, we had six or 7,000 people there just for a bit of general testing. Mm. I mean, and, he, that... and he run into me. It's a <laughs> test day. He run into me. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> I went a race. He's run into me. I went around well, there that... for hours looking for him. Eventually he got to me and I mean, it took him all day to catch up. But... That brings us to the next question. There was a bit of bang door banging I should say, going on at the Australian Grand Prix uh, in the V8 supercar ranks. Now, is that a symptom of control tyres and how much more are we going to see of it this year? Mark Larkham, you would have uh, heard in that story we ran. I think it's partly due to tyres and I think an escalation of the game. Um, be interesting to see what Mark thinks, but you've got a dozen or 15 very good drivers, very evenly matched cars. They've been around now for many years, so people have learnt more about their cars, they're getting more from them. Uh, the perfect end result from that is close racing and that's mm. going to mean sometimes there's going to be panel damage. So uh, it's something we do have to manage, I might mention, because you don't want to turn it into a, a crash fest because it becomes ridiculously expensive. But uh, there's going to be a bit of it this year, Mark's right. Mark, are there a few unenviable reputations being gained already this year without naming names uh, or, or, or are we putting the blame on people too, uh, too early? Oh, look, I think it's a, a bit early. I think Neil's point is, is pretty right in that the character of the cars are already, they're very equal. 
the tyres made them more equal, so the limit they limit the opportunity for passing a bit in some ways. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're still, if you're serious and you're going faster than another guy, you've still got the opportunity to round them up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a bit early in the season. There'll be some circuits that we'll have great racing at, and there'll be other circuits that will be on for young and old. Um, but you've got to have deterrence, Bill. You know, you've got yeah. to have some penalties applied to people who are just out of order with it. So 1,500's not enough. Uh, I mean, we're assuming here that you don't want to have two qualifying on his, sessions. On his so money from Ford, 1500 <laughs> nothing. Mate. With their budget, and everything you I learned, I learned budget, from him. With what, their budget, you're kidding. What figure would you put on it, do you think? Uh, it, it may not necessarily be a figure. It has to be right. a deterrent, as Mark said. I think what you've got to be very careful of is at the moment... Uh, uh, You've got a situation where we hope that our 30 or so, whatever the number is, counterparts are acting in good faith. What happens though if we get to a position towards the end of the championship where there are sheep stations at stake mm. and someone thinks, hey, you know, for 1500 bucks I can change the outcome of this championship mm. and what the hell I'm going to do that? Mm. I think that's where the problem lies. That's the one, that, the one thing I can't jump over in my mind at the moment. I think we've got to make sure that when a driver pulls a move, he's fully aware of the, of the consequences. And you think to yourself, well, hang on, should I do this? Should I proceed? Because if I do, I could really get myself in trouble. Mm. And, I, and that's, to me, certainly beyond $1,500. We've got a lot to get through, but unfortunately, running out of time, we will talk to you again at Eastern Creek. Uh, but just quickly, on, the, on Eastern Creek, we can't expect too much of the AUs at this stage, I would imagine. I mean, you still haven't got your car yet, for example. Glenn's, Glenn has the only one on the team. So what's, what's the prognosis? Uh, I think they'll be very competitive. I don't know much about the others, obviously, but I know that our car is good. It didn't get a chance to show its true form at the Grand Prix. Uh, I've driven it quite a bit. It's a beautiful car, and I'm looking forward to the battle that, the, the, that Glenn will have with these guys. And I don't think that uh, the supposed old car will actually be that far off the pace either, and the test day probably showed that. So uh, it'll be close. And, of course, we know the VT is great at this stage, at least. Looking forward to seeing you in action again, fellas. Uh, of course, best of luck for next week and the rest of the year. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. It'll be fantastic. Uh, these guys, part of TEN's team this year. What a year. Quick plug for the new HRT club for information or to become a member. Contact them on this address. Neil's just cringing here. www.hrt.com.au Don't forget that. We'll return with goodies to give away and, of course, the first three rounds of the World Rally Championship.